hello and welcome back to In The Kitchen With Pen. Um, I'm just back from Argos. Right, what have I got? Well, why don't you come on down and have a look? Well, I think you can see it says Shark Ninja. So yes, it's another Ninja product. But what? Let's have a look. Right. It is a three in one blender. Right. I have a hand blender. I bought it from Lidl oh, a number of years ago now. When I used it at the weekend, it was starting to make a very unusual noise. And I said to Steve, I don't think it's long for this world. So this morning he said to me, you'll be getting an email in a minute. All right, okay. Yep, yeah, you've ordered something from Argos. So did you not see what it is? So I had to scroll down the email and we have this. So let's take a look. Now, I know that Ninja products are good. I've got no qualms about how good it will be. I haven't actually looked at this at all. Oh, we have two beaters, one whisk. The... Um, hand blender I have at the moment has a whisk but it doesn't have two beaters. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it all out and then, well, oh it's heavy, the actual handle has got some weight to it. So, we are almost done with that. Must be set on your email, Don. Okay, well, I'm recording. Right. Okay, so what have we got? We've got our bowl for chopping and blending, and that has a chopping attachment on it, which is great. This is the thing that I said was heavy the actual handle which obviously you've got that there and you've got your pins there so they obviously have to go like that I'm going to plug it in and see how noisy it is okay. like Steve with the telly right switch it on that's ordinary this Let's bring you down. Ordinary speed, turbo speed. Oh, I think wow, okay. Right, so that's how that attaches. Okay, switch off. And we've got Oh, um, mm. so look it's going to be like a little hand blender so technically then technically this is going to take the place of my little hand held mixer too because you slot your beaters in there like so or says can't even see can I take my glasses off to see that's not fitting how odd is that that is definitely not fitting look because I've got it on the wrong side haven't I what a plonker oops please don't do as I do do as I say that's it, they are actually two different sizes. So obviously, 
that one fitted. So I've got, oh wow, I'm well impressed. Switch it on again. I've got a little hand blender, a little hand um, mixer too. That's really fast. Oh yeah. Right, switch it off. And that, in theory, should release these. And it does. Now, I said it's got a whisk. And obviously, there's a picture there too. I'm going to say that the whisk goes in the smaller one as well. And at the right angle. Or maybe it doesn't. Oh, perfect. When it's in correctly, that will be perfect. When I've put it in correctly, but there we go. I really did not know that I had that as well. So I don't know what I thought the things were. But as I say, I haven't looked at it. And look. Now, the, my current one, I'll show you. Can you see? I've got two, well, one blade, but uses both sides. This one has two blades so I've got four so let's again release and it shows you how to line it up and let's just try oh that's so quiet so actually I said it's, it's going to take the place of two things it's going to take the place of three so my hand blender, my small mixer, and of course, my chopper. So, yeah, I'm actually, I'm impressed with that. Now this is obviously, I'm saying obviously, it goes on there I would think, but let's have a little look, shall we? We'll all learn together. And as always with Ninja, you get very comprehensive instructions. So, and it's probably got 20 recipes in there too. Pancakes, chocolate hazelnut biscotti, profita rolls, berry eaten mess, Swiss roll, buttercream, lemon drizzle cake. Hmm. Victoria Sam cheese souffle. Do you know I've not done a video for a cheese souffle yet, have I? I will have to rectify that. And what it does, on each of the recipes, it shows you what you'll need. So obviously the chopper, the hand mixer and beater, or the actual hand blender. I am impressed. But I wanted to see what that, what I believe looks a bit like a lid is. And yeah, it is. So if I chop something and I want to keep it in here, then I can just take that out, take that off, clean it all and pop the lid on. So when I'm making things like um, my chilli sauce for kebabs, it can sit in there until I'm ready to serve. Well, I guess... As I was saying, I guess I need to say thank you, Steve, because, yeah, I am going to have fun with this. Um, not sure what the first recipe that I will use it on will be, because tonight's dinner's all sorted. But we will definitely use it, and I've got the rid of three different pieces of equipment, because I have. My chopper, my, my hand blender. I have my chopper. And I have my hand mixer. Three in one. Love it. Ninja, looks like you've given us another winner. So, thanks for watching and I shall see you all again very soon in the kitchen with Ben. Bye bye. 
for watching this edition of In The Kitchen <laughs> with Pen and sometimes Steve. If you'd like to see more of our cooking and review videos, then click here. But if you'd really like to help the channel grow and subscribe, please click here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye. Oh, yes. Keep cooking. Right, send that to me.